Hello everyone. Uh, you see in front of me there is a Domitech um, battery backup. Um, people usually use for um, long trip for refrigerator and other stuff. Market value around three to four hundred Australian dollar. So I had one and then I this battery is dead. That means uh, it used to last like seven days when I was using, but now it lasts like 12 hours. So every 12 hours have to recharge and then have to um, bring back home again recharge. So it's pain. So I thought that uh, if I can change this battery inside. So what happened? Um, I opened this box so these four screws was at the bottom so when I open then the top sections are um, opened I keep this on side so I show you what is inside oh, for your information these two batteries are will be replaced here so how I find there's I show you. So here is the battery. So you can see that side by side two batteries. So I took the dimension and the details of these batteries to shop. So before you make sure that um, buying, you measure this length, width, and height, as well as the other um, things. It should be a 12 volt battery. I'll post the photos. So first thing we do, we take a photo just in case you mix up. Um, then you can match with the hot. Um, hot will be the positive and negative need to be connected. So let's remove this original cap. So, um, here's a black, black, red, red and then here black black red red so positive red so there this will be crossed that basically this co the cables run um, positive to positive and negative to negative So after we got now everything, so after you moving, you keep as it is so that it, it does not switch back to the other end. And what you, there are four screws that's to this clamp holding, so we need to remove those four screws. So remove these two brackets. And there are two insulator paper. Uh, remove this, we will need this two here. And now they usually sometimes seal closely with a glue. But yeah, this is special. So here is the original battery. You can see this is. Uh, 12 volt uh, 22 ampere hours I put two uh, um, both side tape a little bit on, on this insulation and attach this new one this uh, group I just put the If you put in one one better it'll be okay. Yes. 
fun. So here's the photo we took. X zoom and then uh, this end, this thread will be here, this will be here, and the black cable will go like this way, and the red one, it was a little bit short, I put down, but then it will be a bit easy. Okay. Matters. and another this one um, this red will go with the red and this black end will go with black so that's how we need to um, you have to go one by one it's not bad okay let's do with this one Put a little texture. Now we had sheltered these cables very firmly. Check any those nice. This looks okay. Okay. And now we put we put this from okay, looks so okay. So, yeah, you see, uh, the battery is showing the twelve point six volt. Carefully, so these four holes that will go these four screws. Screw head, you can fail when it go in the middle and it gets tight. Don't do super tight because these are plastic screws. It's quite heavy. We need to put charge in. I'll show you. So now it is time for testing and charging. And what I am doing, I just want to show, check that if um, the battery system working. So I took a dash cam that could um, a secret. Uh, charger in the car, so I put it here and you see it's power come. This is it is a uh, three stage uh, four thousand milliampere charger. It's a Repco brand, Australian. So I put the negative first, but this doesn't matter. I think too much. 
and then positive within this work is normal and then uh, turn on this charger and um, good luck with your um, uh, upgrade if you want to upgrade your faulty battery uh, make sure you follow all the safety procedures and thanks for watching and please don't forget to um, click like and um, subscribe okay thank you very much bye bye